board, ladies and gentlemen, give a very warm welcome, please, to Chris <laughs> Uh On the radio from last week, it's got social welfare issues. So, um, <laughs> I was reading Tony Harrison for the last few weeks, and then the more I read and the more I hear him perform, I think I like to write just like he writes. It's never come about, but I'll try this anyway. Social welfare issue. It's official. We are mostly unemployed. And by God, some of us are fair annoyed. Where to go and what to do? We had a job we thought would see us through. That crowd <coughs> set up there in the doll. I never once did see them fall. They promised all that once elected, political scroungers will be detected. They'll hound them all to the very last and make each one of them and dump them fast. At last there seems to be more pressing matters. This country of ours is in a state of tatters. We must hit hard the unemployed, lest they find comfort and be overjoyed. Make it hard for them to live. Fools they are, and they will give. Tell them to spend all their savings, and forego any and all cravings. Distract them all with very bad news. Their country first make them choose. And while their children emigrate, less food laid upon their plate. Push them all, they must not shirk, for lower wages they all must work. And in the doll they'll think them great, while wages they just elevate. To prosper all who stand in power, social welfare we reduce, make lower. And old age people, one and all, should their nearly end, just let them fall. It's obvious who we have to thank, those thieving gits who run the banks, and help the government to stand, while everything was going grand. As soon as it began to fall, they scattered running from the dog and left us in the sad position to pay now for every inquisition. And pay we will to find the truth, as this country loses all its youth. No jobs here, they're in a state. All of them now will emigrate. Education seemingly gone to waste. Any job will do in haste, and money sent to those parents left because all of the bankers theft. It's hard to be this unemployed and have your life be so denied, while politicians ride in cars and frequent all the jazzy bars. We sit at home amid our fears, no such luck affording beers. This old country has become a joke, so we can't even afford to smoke. No credit for our phone to text, the taxman soon will be taxing sex. Under the heading tourism and leisure, it's now a chore, it used to be a pleasure. And as we sit in this recession, <coughs> There will not be one concession. To any, may, to any who may have lost their job, take the cuts and shut your gob. To get over this is now the goal, yet they cut and cut and cut the dole. The message so far seems to be, anyone without a job, leave the country. Less welfare then for one and all, happy campers lying in the dark. The country now they think to fix, yet still they play their dirty tricks. We can do it, hear them shout. Now the thieves have been found out. The recession halted, their big wages, too rich to be put into cages. Give the welfare lads a bash, they'd leave them with their stolen cash. What choice has put us sitting here for elected government, let's be clear. We voted them in, one and all, to collect big wages in the dog. And as we sit here, our savings spent, welfare cuts and increased rent, they still cruise in snazzy cars and frequent all the jazzy bars. We are unemployed, but why? while they make cuts and leave us dry. Our blood will fuel, fuel those snazzy cars, our savings spent in all their jazzy bags. <laughs>